Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing cha-ching number 49 and at the end of this video I have something really cool to talk about. Um, you guys might have already heard about this or seen it if you follow my Facebook page because I did post about it on there. Uh, so we're just going to start in with where we left off. So the first thing that I have was a vintage tiger rug. Uh, Eric and I won this at an auction. I can't remember exactly what we won it for anymore, but it sold for $199.99, which is amazing. I kind of think we paid a little more than $50 for it. So still like a really great profit off of that item. Uh, next thing I have was a pair of Vionic sandals. I feel like every um, shoe that I have ever gotten by this brand Vionic has sold. It's definitely like an orthopedic kind of shoe. These were a pair of sandals that sold for $32.99 and I'm pretty sure they came from a yard sale and I probably paid about two or three dollars for them. Uh, next thing I have is another pair of shoes. These are by a company called, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Ol Olukai was the brand of the shoes. They were men's uh, running shoes. Those sold for $29.99 and I purchased those at a yard sale for $2. So when I picked them up, I just, I don't know, I went with my gut on them. I didn't know, I had never heard of the brand before or anything like that. I just thought they looked like really nice sneakers and could potentially be worth more than the $2 that I spent on them. So always go with your gut because it usually is right. Uh, next thing I have was a vintage, um, just kind of like a beach tote type of bag. It said Paradise Beach Club on it. That sold for $12.99 and I picked that up at a thrift store. Probably paid about a dollar to a dollar ninety-nine for it. I sold a pair of jeans by a company called Denim 24-7. Those sold for $14.99 and, you know, you know where they came from. Do I even have to say it anymore? Um, next, we have a set of two Starbucks espresso cups. So these were like really tiny espresso cups. Um, it was a lot of two of them. Those sold for $29.99 and we picked them up at a yard sale. Um... I remember at that yard sale where I got them, we had a couple of other things. I had purchased a frog planter there before that had sold already. Um, and that really pretty red beaded bag that still hasn't sold, but I purchased that at the same sale. Um, so they just gave us an, uh, an amount for everything that we purchased. And I completely, you know, made way more back than what I spent on those items. Uh, next we have a set of vintage Indiana glass. Did I say glass? Indiana <laughs> glass. These were the cubist. Um, these were juice glasses. So they were shorter than your typical uh, sized drinking glass. Those sold for $24.99. I got those at a yard sale and they were with a matching pitcher. And the pitcher didn't sell yet, I don't think. Uh, but I think I paid all together for the pitcher and the glasses $5. So that, that was a great sale regardless right there. Um, I sold a Kurt Adler mistletoe ornament. Uh, I think this is the second one of these I have sold. I still have one more that's currently listed. I paid a dollar for that at a yard sale and it sold for $14.99. I sold a vintage pink dress. This had a little um, patch on the um, chest area of um, some cherries. So that was super cute. That sold for $18.99. And that I think I got at Goodwill ages ago, absolute ages ago. Um, I actually had found it at my parents' house when I was cleaning out all of their stuff. Um, I found it in a tub of things that 
I was selling on eBay back when I lived with my parents. Um, so I got that probably for less than $5 back in the day when Goodwill wasn't outrageously high. I mean, I'm not saying Goodwill is outrageously high, but their prices have definitely gone up over the years. Uh, next we have a set of three Goosebumps VHS tapes. Those sold for $17.99. And I picked these up at a yard sale and I do think I paid a dollar a piece for them. So $3 all together. Next I have a, this was a pin, like a brooch, 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 brooch. It was this doll and it was so unique looking. It was definitely handmade by someone. Um, that sold for $11.99 and I got that at a yard sale and I think I paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. It's just very unique looking and I love picking up unique stuff. Uh, next we have a lot of three vintage Bill Blast perfumes. These were in the scent hot. Those sold for $12.99. I had gotten these a couple of years ago. I had purchased, oh my gosh, this was back when I went, went yard selling with my father. And we went to a yard sale where I got three huge boxes full of vintage perfume. Like the lady, I guess, had worked at a perfume counter over the years and these were all vintage perfumes and I got all three boxes for $20. I made so much money off of those boxes. It was insane. So those perfumes came from that box. They unfortunately really weren't worth a whole lot, but um, those boxes were just, oh my gosh. I That was probably up there as one of the best scores that I have ever come across in my lifetime. Uh, next item was a peacock wicker chair. So this is like a smaller, you know, peacock wicker chair, like doll size. People like to use these to put their plants on um, just to keep with the whole like boho kind of decor. That sold for $15.99. I believe I paid $1 for that and that did go to a subscriber. And I have sold other like versions of this peacock chair on eBay before and they all have sold. Um, I've come across some though before in thrift stores and they were just too pricey for what I was willing to pay for them. Uh, next we have a John Paul Richard top that came from you know where. <laughs> that also went to a subscriber. I think that was a repeat subscriber. Um, she had purchased some other tops from me and that sold for $14.99. I sold a Limoges trinket box. This wasn't like the other Limoges trinket boxes that I sold. It was much larger, kind of like a jewelry style um, trinket box. That sold for $19.99 and that came from an auction. Um, I had won just a couple pieces of Limoges items. I think I, I think I won them for less than $10. Um, let's see, we have a lot of vintage 1960s promo kind of, uh, there were some recipe booklets in here and then just other like advertising type booklets. Those sold for $9.99. They came from an auction as well. They were mixed in with a lot of magazines that I won at that auction. Um, and those are in this cha-ching as well. I think I won the whole flat for like $2, I want to say. Um, sold a, this is another Limoges item that came from the same lot of Limoges pieces. This one I wasn't sure exactly what it was. I think I had in my title sugar bowl because I don't know I thought maybe it was a sugar bowl or just kind of like a little um lidded jar to have like on your vanity or whatnot. Anyway that one sold for $31 so that was a really nice sale. I sold a Trump shirt uh, for $12.99. I picked this up at a yard sale. I think I paid 50 cents to a dollar for it. Um, I sold the Lounge Fly mini backpack, the Lion King one, for $49.99. I got this at a yard sale for $12 and that did go to a subscriber. 
This other lounge fly item that's next came from that same yard sale. This one was a Snow White and the Seven Dwarves wristlet. That one I paid $2 or $3 for and that sold for $25.99. I sold a little ceramic piggy bank. This was marked Tony Wood Studio. Very cute piggy bank. That sold for $19.99 and I won that at an auction for just $2. I sold a set, or a lot I should say, of four sheets of vintage stickers. These were by a company called Current. Um, those sold for $23.49. They definitely look like they were from the 90s. Um, I think that they had a date on them, it was 1990 something. I do still have a couple more sheets of these um, available. I think I sold two sets so far. The other one would be in another chiching that I get to show. Um, I sold a pair of men's true religion jeans for $49.99. I got these at Goodwill. I actually found them in the women's section. <laughs> they were in the women's section, but they were men's jeans. Um, and I probably paid about, I don't even remember what jeans are at Goodwill. I feel like they might be like $7 and some change. I sold a lot of two uh, vintage Newport matchbooks. Eric had purchased like a box full of these at a yard sale. They were new old stock and they're still selling. Um, that sold for $11.99. So he has sold a lot <laughs> of these Newport matches. You guys have seen them before popping up in my cha-chings and we still have quite a few left. I do think some of the people that are buying them are repeat buyers. Like I don't know if I like they're using them and then buying more or what exactly they're doing. Um, but I do feel like one of the last ones that I sold the buyer looked familiar. Like the buyer name. Uh, next was a, this was kind of surprising. This was a vintage Avon perfume. This was Hawaiian ginger. That sold for $9.99 and that came from a lot of perfumes and stuff that I had won at an auction. Um, so I just decided to list that up and it did sell. That kind of surprised me because I know some of the older vintage like Avon perfumes um, really, you know, not all of them have good resale value. Uh, next was that MAC truck dog. Um, so this was kind of like a paperweight or hood ornament, I guess you'd say. Uh, we won that at auction for, oh gosh, I can't remember what we paid for it, but we sold it for $122.99. So we did make really great profit off of that for sure. Um, and that did actually go overseas as well. That was a GSP order. I have another Limoges item that came from one of those lots of Limoges uh, pieces that I won at the auction. This one was like a little dish that had two handles on it and that sold for $81. That was a great, great sale there as well. A lot of good cha-chings in this cha-ching. <laughs> the next um, was the lot of those magazines that we won at auction. These were vintage um, ingenue like teen magazines from I don't know I can't remember now off the top of my head if they were from the 60s or the 70s um, but those sold for $25.73 and that did go to a subscriber. Um, I sold a pair of women's silver jeans. These were in the style called Suki or Suki and um I had sold a pair of Bermuda shorts in the same style and I had gotten those at a fill -a bag rummage sale. So when I saw these jeans, I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to try and sell these jeans as well and they sold too. So definitely anytime I ever see these uh, this brand silver jeans. I'm going to keep an eye out on those. That sold for $29.99 and I do believe those also came from a fellow by Grummage sale. I sold a vintage panda throw blanket. This I got, oh gosh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll remember 
Um, I had gone to a barn sale last year and I got a bunch of vintage Christmas stuff. Remember those like Tiny Tim blow molds and everything like that. This actually came from that barn sale. I had totally forgotten about it. I put it in my um, closet in my computer room and I happened to stumble upon it. I was like, oh my gosh, I never listed this. So I listed it and that sold for $39.99 and I probably paid about a dollar for it. All right, next thing we have is a record. This had two bands on it, it was a split record. Uh, one, one of the bands was called Winchester and the other one Mob Mentality. It was a punk record. Uh, that sold for $12.99 and I picked that up at Goodwill for, I think I only paid $0.99 cents for it. I sold that set of vintage strawberry shortcake books. Um, we recently had won these at an auction. Um, we won this box full of books and <laughs> it just it always works out this way where like I buy a, a box lot for something specific I list that item it doesn't sell but I list other stuff from the box lot and that stuff sells <laughs> It always seems to work out that way. I didn't even know these strawberry shortcake books were in there. They were like buried in the bottom. Regardless, I paid $1 for the entire box of books and those strawberry shortcake books sold for $39.99. So that's awesome. And then the last thing that I have for this cha-ching, and this is what we will get into with my story afterwards, I sold a set of vintage Valentine matchbooks. I had picked these up. They were in a baggie at Goodwill, and I think I paid either 99 cents for them or $1.99 for them. Um, and those sold for $9.99. So not a whole lot of money there, but this is the amazing thing and this is a really cool story. So at the end of these videos, I like to talk about um, just issues that have arisen that are eBay related or just anything like that. So I don't have any issues really to talk about. Nothing has really been happening as far as eBay goes. It's kind of been the the normal, the same old, same old, which is good, it's fine. <laughs> I kind of like it like that, you know what I mean? I don't like having issues. So this last thing that sold, these lot of matchbooks, um, when I went to ship those out, and I always look, like when I'm shipping stuff, I always look at the address and the name and stuff like that, just glancing, you know what I mean? I'm not like, name, address, it, you know what I mean? It's just like a quick glance as to, you know, where it's going basically. And I saw on this particular um, auction winning that it was going to a, um, like a movie studio. And I was like, ah, oh, sweet. Cause I love when that happens. You always hear those things where you sell, people sell stuff as props on eBay and then people from TV shows and movies that are in charge of like the set designs and stuff like that um, will buy the stuff as movie or television props and sure enough um, I did I saw it said it said the movie that it was going to and the movie is called Black Adam um, it's based off of um, DC Comics it's coming out next year. It has a release date of 2022 and it stars Noah Centineo and The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Um, so there is a high probability that my matchbooks are going to be in that movie. So if anyone goes and sees that movie, you'll have to let me know. Sorry guys, my camera completely just shut off on me. But as I was saying, if you see those matchbooks in the movie, if you go and watch the movie when it comes out next year, let me know if you do, because that would just be so totally awesome. Um, so yeah, that is everything for this chiching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You have to let me know what you thought down below and just how things are with your sales as well. Um, I was saying to, I think in my last stitching that I was starting to do more um, Facebook marketplace sales. 
Um, things were going great on there and I haven't had a sale on there in a while now, so I don't know, it just kind of like went dry on me a little bit, but it's also been a little while since I listed something on there, but nothing that I do have listed has been selling. Uh, but as far as eBay goes, um, as far as sales, um, you know, they're holding steady. It's not been like overly amazing lately. I know it kind of seems like it, but I am slightly behind on my chichings. Uh, but I did get a lot of good stuff um, while I was outsourcing this past week. So um, hopefully that will bring an uptick in some really great sales. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.